Hyperventilation syndrome poses a significant challenge in EMS due to its varied presentations and potential severity. While commonly triggered by anxiety, it can mimic life-threatening conditions, necessitating a clear approach to identification and treatment. Primarily a respiratory issue, hyperventilation syndrome occurs when a patient breathes excessively, upsetting the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the body. It often accompanies panic attacks, characterized by sudden intense fear and physical symptoms, such as chest pain, palpitations, and dizziness. During panic-induced hyperventilation, rapid breathing leads to excessive expulsion of carbon dioxide, CO2, causing respiratory alkalosis. This condition enhances the binding of oxygen to hemoglobin, reducing its release to tissues. Concurrently, cerebral vasoconstriction from alkalosis can induce syncope and neurological symptoms like carpopedal spasms. EMS must differentiate panic-induced hyperventilation from other critical conditions like pulmonary embolism or diabetic ketoacidosis, which also provoke hyperventilation as a compensatory response. Pulse oximetry and waveform capnography are essential tools, with capnography indicating decreased ETCO2 levels, less than 30 millimeters of mercury, in hyperventilating patients. Treatment involves reassurance and coaching to slow breathing. Avoiding phrases like calm down is crucial as patients cannot easily control their anxiety. Instead, encourage diaphragmatic breathing and provide visual feedback from monitoring devices to aid in calming the patient. Recognizing panic-induced hyperventilation amidst potential life-threatening causes requires astute clinical judgment and empathetic communication. EMS providers play a pivotal role in providing supportive care and ensuring patients receive appropriate evaluation and management in hospital settings. By understanding these principles, EMS can effectively navigate the complexities of hyperventilation syndrome, optimizing patient outcomes through thoughtful assessment and compassionate care.